Welcome back to Woodledge Ranch. Uh, today, we're just gonna jump right into it. We have to make some chicken nesting boxes. And I have right here a whole ton of spare scrap plywood. When the uh, previous owners sold us this place, they had a ton of spare wood left. This is only some of it. Um, and they asked, do you want us to throw it out? I said, no, absolutely not. So here I have uh, one, two, three, four, five sheets of eight foot by two foot plywood. We got some big old pieces of timber back here. And then mine the messy barn. We have a whole bunch of scrap wood back there. Some more plywood, um, trim pieces, some big old, looks like some posts and beam sections. So I got a lot to work with here to build the nesting box. But what I'm gonna be working with for now is this plywood. Um, we have 12 birds and you're supposed to have four to five birds per nesting box. So I think I'm gonna build four nesting boxes assuming that we're gonna have more birds in the future. Um, I should be building three, but I'm gonna go with four because I'm gonna assume that in the future someone's gonna come home from the store with some more chicks or maybe we'll have a couple roosters in the batch mixed with the hens and you know nature works so we'll have some more birds so the first thing i'm gonna do is get this old rusty tape measure i'm gonna measure out Wee. make sure we don't knock it over about 14 and a half inches or so it's right about here and then we're gonna go from there Another 14 and a half or so inches. And that's one, two, three, one more. 14 and a half. So I need one more. 14 and a half will get me right about here. I'm doing 14 and a half because they're supposed to be 14 inches wide, but I figured each piece of plywood is half inch thick. I'm not good at math, but it should get me roughly 14 inches. Now, if I remember what my wife Caitlin said, it's supposed to be 14 and a half, 14 inches wide by, I believe she said 12 or 14 high. I'll have to go ask. 12 inches deep, 14 inches wide, and 12 inches tall. Okay. Do you want me to write it down? No, I got it. 12 inches deep, 14 wide, 12 inches tall. 12 inches tall. Got it. All right, so I talked to the foreman of the project. She told me the sizes, so I got it now. So now we gotta go do that. Oh, and by the way, New Hampshire, what the heck? It snowed last night. We got like two inches of snow. It's fine. My friends up in Vermont said they got like a foot. So I'm glad I'm not up in Vermont. But anyways, back to this. Most of the snow's melting. Spring's still here. I had my birthday yesterday, so it's a good day. Let's see if I can get this in here. Oh, not right now. I'll be right there. So we gotta do 14 wide, 12 deep, 12 high. That's for the large chickens, which we only really have like one, maybe two of. Maybe. Um, so even the smaller chickens, they'll still be comfortable with this size. It's not too much bigger for them. So back to this. We did 14 wide. We got that set. Now we got to do 12 inches high. So I have a 24 inch piece of wood here. Do I want to do this as the back or the bottom? That's a good question. So if I do 12 inches here, go 12 inch deep, lock that. This is such an old tape measure. So I do 12 inches here, 12 inches here, ish, 12 inches there. And 12 inches here. 
That still leaves me with 12 inches going this way. So if I cut here, I could just flip this section up and that would be the back. I think that's right. There's our line. I'm gonna measure it up with this one. And that's our line. One more. Right there. So you can kind of see the boxes now. Yeah. 14 wide, 12 deep. 14 wide, 12 deep. And I might use the back side of this because this side's pretty rough. I don't want the chickens getting splinters or whatever. So that'll give us one, two, three, four boxes. Flip this up. That's your back side of four boxes. Then we still have, I don't know how much of this we got left. Unlock it. Still have about 38 inches worth of this. So I could use this to cut the dividers between each one. I might do that. All right, where was I? Oh yeah, I gotta cut this. But there's about five other sheets underneath it and I don't wanna ruin those. So I gotta figure out how to cut this without a table saw, or not a table saw, a uh, sawhorse. There we go, something to put it on. How am I going to do that? So the easy solution, I just cleared off one of my other benches. We got a lot more benches. Got a ton of stuff on it. Uh, more lawnmower parts. You know, catcher's mask. I used to be a catcher in Little League. That's right. Yours truly used to be badass catcher back in the day. This doesn't quite fit on my face. It's supposed to go around a helmet. But there you go. Protect the face. I got some... Brand new, like I said, that I'll show you. This is what I used. The day before we closed on our house, my wife said, just go buy it. Just go buy it. So I bought it. Got some chains, which are a little rusty. You'll have to put those through some sand. Got a 42 inch snowblower, which I'm pretty much done using for the year. I'm sad because all the snow that we got today is melting. Anyways, so a lot of those spare parts are right here because I didn't, when the guy dropped it off, delivered it, he said, where do you want it? And I go, I don't really know, man. Just put it up here for now. And that's how everything got in here. We were like, where are we going to put it? I don't know. Just put it back here. Put these, this washer dryer. We don't need them. Just put them back there for now. Uh, so that's how everything is. All my tools are just kind of in here for now. I haven't been able to get in here and organize yet. So, back to this. We got So there you go. Roughly, it's not the straightest lines because I'm an amateur here, but roughly 12 inch boards. Now I can figure out how to put them together. We're gonna move this down onto here and you can help me nail stuff on, okay? okay. I'm right. just gonna bend this into. Just leave it right there for now. I'm gonna leave it here. We're done, kind of bring it inside. Yes, when we're done, we can bring it inside. For now, we're gonna yeah, do that. Go be a, the Easter basket. Exactly. We need the Easter baskets. That, that, that'll give you a plank. It does look like a plank. And there's a second one. So now we gotta put this thing together. You wanna get the square pieces? Sure. Over there. You said bring it to the table. No, bring it over to me, right here. Oh. We're gonna build this. Yeah. What do I do? Hammer? Oh. I'm 
not the first ones, okay? Because those are going to be the hardest. Yeah, we do that. So I'm going to have you do some of the Gorilla Glue. Uh-uh. So you're going to put a, a little stream of it okay. right along the edge like that, okay? Just finish where I went, right along the edge. Gorilla Wood Glue. Oh, you want to narrate? Go ahead. This is the glue in it. And because we are making a chicken roost in place, that's for chickens. For the chickens to nest. Uh -huh. So keep holding those. You got them? Mm -hmm. All right. What I'm going to do is come over here. I'm going to put in a nail. Let's hold that there. So this is the downside to the scrap wood and also not having a table saw is it actually has a bow to it. You can kind of see it there. So it's not perfectly square. It'll hammer into squareness when I do it. It's just a pain in the butt for right now. So it's coming along. Found another piece of scrap wood. It's perfect size for the front here. Just kind of keep the uh, nests from, come on focus, from falling out. So this will be the bottom and the back. And this will keep like the chickens from falling out, the eggs and stuff like that. I'm not gonna worry so much about this one. Like I said, we only have 12 chickens. I don't think they'll use all of them. And if I need to, I can always make another little safety catch for this one. So, I'm gonna hammer this on. Might just skip that for you guys. And then uh, figure out how to do the top. And then this should be good to install in the coop. So I think I finished. Voila! Chicken nesting box. Yeah. No safety. A couple, little, couple of them with some safety. Uh, Barrier there. Some scrap wood. I had an extra square from when I cut these out. Just worked out that way. Perfect. Um, and then right here, we have some old wood shingles. Um, very popular in New England. The uh, They're usually cedar. Um, I'm not sure if these are. They might be. I think they're pine. They might be cedar though. White cedar or whatever it's called. Um, so I had a few of those left. If they are cedar, that's good because it means they won't rot. And yeah, so now we have little roofs over them. It's not perfect, but it'll give them some cover, make it feel like it's a little nook. This one's the most secure. A little bit of light gets in back there. I had one nail, you probably saw it right there. Did not want to go in and it bent, so it's a pain in the butt to get out. But I bent it backwards so the chicken won't hit it. That's this little one right here. That'll be fine. So now we just have to figure out how to install it down at the chicken coop.
I just went right into it and it seems to be holding. I did three per, so we got 12 screws in there. Not perfect, but hey, it works, right? For scrap wood. We actually have to make a run out to tractor supply and we're gonna get some more of the um, chicken wire and uh, wire mesh and a whole bunch of wood shavings for in here inside the nesting boxes in the floor. Um, Probably a couple other things as well. So we're gonna go do that now. So what which one do you think we need? Uh, I would say this one. Yeah, this one. No, you're just being cute. Cute with your dirty face. Mom, Daddy, this that one. Looks like a lot that of is a lot. That's four feet by fifty feet long. Hey! I know, you're so excited. Oh. Tell mama we're oh. not getting more. Yeah. Oh, that's right. A little disclaimer. Most domestic ducks cannot fly or migrate and should never be released into the wild or in public areas. Oh, that's good. Little checks. We're not getting it anymore. We have enough. I just gotta finish stapling this on. We got some more and we'll put it on there. Ooh, that's cold. It's cold? Yeah. I yeah, know the wind outside is kind of harsh, huh? Uh huh. Dad said. What is that? Dad said, and Mom will keep the chickens in and the quiddles out. Is that funny? Yeah, it's so funny, right? <laughs> and that, that is the nest and box, and that is a roost paste. And this is. And that. Did you show them the ladder that you're uh -huh. gonna uh -huh. hang out? Yep. And that is a dog named Grace. So so far today, we've built the nesting box, gone to tractor supply, and got some more uh, wire mesh, so I could screen this in. Nothing's getting in through there anymore. It's all stapled up. I might go through with some of the wire that they gave in the the spools. Where is it? The spools come with this wrapped around it so it stays nice and tight. I might thread it through here just so I don't think anything's going to try to climb through there. But if it wanted to, it could. So I might just, you know, stitch it up a little bit with that. Just make it a little bit harder for something to come through. Um, we got a big old ladder thing here. It was up in the old barn. Uh, pretty much unusable for people, but I figured chickens would like it to just kind of sit on they love having areas where they can just roost so that's perfect for them now all you got to do is screen in up here and get the rafters and we're all set test she locked us in why'd you lock us in babe we can't reach out <laughs> yes i can how? <laughs> I want to see how she does this. My wife just locked us in the horse barn. I can get out if I have to, but I'm gonna to have to cut the brand new, like I just put all this mesh on this door. We had to individually like sew it on. <laughs> she's it's so embarrassed, she's not even looking. I stapled all this on. We went all the way up there. It look, doesn't look that good, but all the way around the top, it's all chicken wired in. They're not getting out. And apparently, <laughs> neither are we. <laughs> There's a way. <laughs> Man. Yeah, I'm going to have to cut it all no. just to reach the handle. All right. Well, on that note, thanks for watching.